October 27th, 1707. Nearly 2,000 men died after their ships smashed into rocks near the Scilly Isles, off the southwest English coast. They died because they were lost and didn't even know it. Throughout history, ships sank and men died because there was no accurate way to know a ship's true location at sea. My name is John Harrison. I was 14 years old when this tragedy at sea occurred, but this was not the first time either a ship was lost or suffered tragedy at sea, nor was it the last. In the 1700s, there was no accurate way of knowing exactly where a ship was located. A captain had to rely on crude methods of navigation or just plain luck. What was needed was a device for determining something called longitude, or your east-west position. Here is where I came in. I was born in England in the year 1693, and I lived in the days of shipwreck and sea tragedy. At a young age, I began thinking about a machine that would help ships find their way at sea. In fact, from the time I was a young man until I was over 80 years old, I did nothing but try and solve this greatest scientific problem of my day. I devoted my entire life to solving it. Most people believe that a machine for determining longitude could never be built, and many people thought I was crazy to attempt such a task. And for over 50 years, I tried and failed but I never gave up. All the many years I gave to creating many different inventions, just one of those inventions alone took me almost 20 years to complete, only to find out that it did not work. But I never gave up. Then finally, in 1773, just three years before I died at the age of 83, my invention, now called H4 did work. All of my persistence paid off and I discovered longitude. I did it and my invention changed the world. If you had an idea that you thought was the solution to one of the biggest technological problems of your time, would you give up most of your life to prove and develop that idea? If your discovery had great benefit to humankind as mine did, would it be worth giving up most of your life for? <laughs>